right, so this is what you get in the box right here. You have the basic manual. You have the braces or the rods that you see here. All the screws, bolts, wrench. Uh, this is gonna be what you're gonna make the hole with. Then you have your braces or brackets and that right there is gonna attach to the part that you make a hole with and you're gonna turn it that way. All right, so that's all there is in the box. And now that we have everything out, we're gonna go ahead and do some pre-assembly. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this tool right here and you're just gonna loosen it up. Once you loosen that up, you're gonna go ahead and take the part that actually is gonna drill the hole out, put it in there. and just tighten it up. Once you do that, go ahead and put this to the side. Next, we're gonna take these brackets right here. You're gonna take one of these screws. Keep in mind the brace is gonna go like this on your printer. So this is gonna be the back side. So you're gonna insert the screws there, like so. Take one of these nuts. And just put them on like that on so and we're gonna do the same thing with both of these next we're going to go and be connecting the rods it doesn't matter which rods you use the only thing I would say guys is if you notice one side is flat and the other sides kind of bolted out try to make sure you put the flat to flat and that's gonna be your middle right there so the easiest way is just take one of these uh, kind of figure out where halfway point is Put one in, then when you're about halfway through, go ahead and insert the other piece. There you go, now you got one solid piece and we're going to do the same step for the other ones. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and put the anchor bolts, that's what I call them right here at the end. But before we do that, you wanna take one of these nuts, put it in there, and then just screw it here at the edge. You don't have to go all the way in because these we will need to adjust down the line. And you're gonna re repeat this process with the other three sides. For the next step guys, we're actually going to insert these brackets where they go, but because we have the cover in there, we're going to have to cut a little piece out. So you can use a pencil for this, uh, but I'm just going to use my knife. I'm going to put it right there, see where it goes, and then roughly make a mark of where I need to cut it. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. All right, once you do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this out a little bit. And there you go, and now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, this brings us to our next step, which will be actually mounting these on. And you're gonna use the Allen key that was provided to you. Make sure your nuts are horizontal as you're inserting them. And this part needs to be outside, just like so. And we're just gonna repeat, repeat the process on the other side. Guys, for the next part, we're actually gonna go ahead and drill the hole. So what you wanna do is take this little cover off that you see right here. 
And once you do that, uh, now this part, for me, it's very important. I've seen a lot of people go at an angle and they're not really keeping this part straight. You wanna go right down the barrel right there. So make sure you keep this as straight as possible. So if this is the barrel right there that you're drilling the hole into, don't drill it this way. Try to keep it as straight as possible so when you go in, you're still straight, okay? So we're gonna do that right here. All right guys, so the next step, we're actually going to go ahead and mount the braces on. What I recommend that you do here is, earlier we just put it together, leave a little bit of space in between, okay? Because you're gonna need that. And also on this end, just try to get it in a little bit where the bolt is sticking out. Same thing on this side. Then you're just gonna take the screw. You're just gonna hand tighten it for now. Make sure you don't try to push it in, otherwise you will have to keep adjusting these until you find the right, right angle where everything lines up. So once you have everything in there, uh, go ahead and tighten up all your bolts. Go ahead and just make it super tight on both ends, top and bottom. And once you do that, now you want to go ahead and tighten up this nut right there. What this is going to do is keep the rod, as you can see right now when you turn it, you can turn it a little bit. This is going to keep the rod from turning. So. Go ahead and get it as close as possible to the top on both sides, top and bottom. And once you do that, just go and tighten it up. You don't have to go crazy here, but just a little more than hand tighten. And with that done, this should be pretty tight. And now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, once you have everything mounted, let's go and turn these to make it tight. And once they're tight, you're just going to go ahead and tighten the bolts. And then we're just going to tighten the bolts. And there you go everybody braces on the cr10 pretty solid